In this video, we're going to discuss the object mover behavior. So this is a really neat one because it can be used in a couple of different ways. Um, so let's just walk through the demo here. I've got a, an interesting little uh, room, like somebody's living room maybe, and I'm just creeping around the room. I can see some objects that I might want to, uh, you know, explore and look through. And as I'm looking around the room, I come across this. There's a little prompt that says E to move. So I'm curious, so I'm just going to go ahead and move that. By the way, where it said one fourth complete, just ignore that. Um, that seems to be an issue that I'm experiencing as a result of this level, which I'll explain here in a little bit. But for right now, suffice it to say, ignore it. That's not going to be there for you. Okay. So I've moved the the uh, object over, and lo and behold, we have some. Uh, a secret passage that's opened up so we're just gonna walk through here and take a look around looks kind of neat oh there's the secret passage closed behind me all right so let's turn on our flashlight and take a look here so this is interesting little device and it says e to move so i'm going to go ahead and click on that all right it's kind of heavy moving it around what does it say Hey, <laughs> so that's uh, that's the demonstration for the move behavior. So let's take a look and see how that works. Because like I said, you can be uh, operated in a couple different ways. So here we have object mover. Uh, we'll start with the the general settings, right? Physics on um, and a, a mobile is is he mobile is yes that's important because if you don't do that then it's going to move around in weird uh, directions so you want to make sure that's set uh, everything else can stay the same you go to the object mover behavior and we have our prompt and you obviously you can type over that make it say whatever you want but i just did e to move um, the use range is just going to be how far away can the player be in order to interact with the object uh, that has the behavior on it um, so sometimes when you get this where there's uh, attributes that aren't active, just click off of it, click back onto it. It's a weird little quirk. Um, all right, and then we have the movement type. So this pr is probably the thing that tripped me up the most. So we'll spend some time talking about this. Uh, the movement type is which direction is it going to move in, right? So we have push, pull, slide left, slide right, slide up, slide down, rotate X, Y, and Z. So I'm only using two of these, obviously. Um, the first one I'm using is pull. So how did I arrive at pull? Why, 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 you know, why was pull the right answer? Well, it has to do with the blue line here, which is your Z axis. The Z is the front of the object. So if I'm standing in front of the object, if I'm here, what am I going to do? I'm going to pull it, right? If I was, uh, you know, wanting it to go the up opposite way, I would push it. So that's the way it makes sense to me anyways, and left and right and so on. Um, and then obviously X, Y, and Z is going to rotate it, which we'll see here in a minute when we go look at the other object. Uh, let me go back to the behavior. The movement is how far is it going to go? Now you saw that this thing slid pretty far when I only had it set to 25. So dial that in to make it makes sense for you. Use a switch, yes or no? Well, if you're just moving it around, you maybe you just want to get it out of your way. Maybe it's a piece of debris that's fallen and it's blocking your path and you just want to, you know, move it out of the way that you don't need it to be a switch. But in my case, I'm using it as a switch and I've got it logic linked to these two objects here so that the bookcase would move and so too would the, uh, the wall, right? So I'm using it as a switch there. I'm obviously using it as a switch in the other room as well. Let's go take a look at that. Slide on through. All right, so in this case, the object itself doesn't need to move left, right, or anywhere which way. It really only needs to rotate. In my case, I'm rotating it on the Y. Now remember, the green is your Y, right? So that's where it's rotating, right? If you wanted to flip around on Z or flip around on uh, X, you would choose that but in my case I wanted it to rotate this way uh, the movement here is 45 so it's just rotating 45 degrees around 
so that it's facing me when it kind of gets all the way around or it's not really 45 degrees it's 45 units um so i again i think it just kind of depends on the object what size it is how which direction it's going all of those things play a, a role in that and you're just going to have to play around with that until it's just right for your scene okay um, and then in my case, the only other thing that's different about this one is it is I am using it as a switch. Um, when it reached its uh, final uh, movement, it activated the item that it's linked to, which is the little sign on the outside here. Um, and also it operated the second sound wave that you heard, which was a ta-da, right, just for fun. Um, and I, was, I promised you I was going to explain to you why my scene is saying one fourth complete um, and it has to do with this level probably um, as you can see i've been using this level a lot i've been using it for all kinds of different things uh, there's the rock slide behavior scene and a couple other ones that we've seen before so um, it's probably a conflict with some other behavior i've got somewhere out there i don't know exactly but when i went and i tested it in another um, scene or another level um, i didn't have that problem at all so you will likely not experience that but i didn't really want to rebuild this all from scratch just for that one little quirk so please just ignore that part all right uh, but that's it that's everything you need to know about object mover i think it's a really neat uh, a neat behavior that can be pretty useful for like a puzzle if you enjoyed the video and, or if you learned anything new don't forget to click the like button um, if you're new here or if you haven't subscribed before uh, please be sure to do so and if you'd like a notification whenever new videos are posted just click the bell icon it'll let you know when a new one arrives uh, but that's it thanks so much for watching all the way through and i'll see you in the next one Bye for now.